Hey everyone, uh, thanks for checking out my video. Uh, my, my video is just going to demonstrate what these two power walls behind me do. Um, we are based here in Brisbane. We have over 32 solar panels on the roof. Um, we have two EVs here as well. And I'm just going to showcase all the benefits that I've experienced over the last 45 days. Let's get into it. Here we are in the garage. So this is one of the main benefits of having a power wall is if you are out at work during the day and you have a solar system and it's already currently feeding back into the grid and you're getting a credit, you know, two dollars, maybe you're getting a dollar. Um, if you have power walls at home, whatever your system generates during the day, that's going to get stored in energy to use later at night. Now, you can schedule these cars behind me to charge during certain times. You can tell them how much percentage you want them to charge as well. Alrighty, so what we're doing here, we're in the kitchen and I'm just showing a pure example of what home usage shows up in the Tesla app straight away. So I've got the kettle going and I've also got the Nutribullet going as well. So you can see a usage there of above two kilowatt for our home usage. You can also see in that screenshot there um, that we've got solar generating electricity as well. And the power wall is also, uh, I guess in a way, working coincidentally with each other to produce electricity for the home without drawing anything from the grid. All right, this one's a pretty good one. Um, so power wall got installed on the 16th and started um, benefiting us on the 17th of April. So we're looking at uh, some stats here through AGL, through our smart meter. You can see our usage here each day, roughly about $5, sometimes $10 going through here. So 16th is when we got installed, 17th is when Powerwall went active. Um, see there. We, we really see benefits here once the Powerwalls were charged and we're able to do a lot more self-consumption. Um, so you can see here, Saturday, there's 5 cents and 47 cents went back to the grid. 22 cents for Sunday, $3.29 for Monday. I think it was a bit cloudy, that's why it was going on, but you can see here, you know, it's gone significantly less usage. And this is May. Looking a lot better now. So I was able to reduce usage significantly. Um, <laughs> you can just see there. Some days there's no solar that goes back to the grid and some days there's hardly anything that comes from the grid. I hope this gives you a pretty good insight of what's going on here. 